All right. Hello and good evening from New Zealand. Um, tonight, or is it tonight in Adelaide? No? Yeah. It's, uh, it's about 5.30. So, yeah. Almost. Late afternoon. Yes. Almost tonight. So tonight yeah. I'm just doing a very, very quick interview with my beautiful friend Melanie Caputo from Adelaide. Hello. Hello, darling. Hello. Lovely to see you. Um, and Melanie's been using doTERRA oils for a while now, but I've discovered that she's discovered her newfound passion for raw cacao treats or desserts and oils. Is that right? Oh, no. I've got a low battery. What just okay, happened? let's um, before I just said low battery. Yes, it's true. We'll keep oh, going. Uh, do we just keep battery. going? Let's keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Be natural. <laughs> I mean, he says this too. I've recently, I've always, I've discovered um, that I love raw treats some time back, but now I've also discovered that I can actually infuse them with essential oils. So that's been, that discovery was a really great day for me. Um, so the, I guess the, the oils that I've been using mainly have been cardamom and wild orange. I think they're a match made in heaven. Mia has them there. I don't know. During the I'd have them all. With I, me. I've got tangerine, next closest yeah. best thing, because wild orange is in my bedroom. Yeah, continue. I've by the tangerine. I just received it, so oh. I will be trying. So a drop here and there in the beautiful, like, um, cacao slabs with any type of nuts, mm. pistachio, almonds, you name it. Mix it all together, add a drop of oil, beautiful, bliss balls, peppermint. They've been going crazy with my best friend. Um, <laughs> Cinnamon also is another lovely one with, um, I've been making yummy raw slices with sunflower seeds and you name it, you can chuck anything in actually. So it's been oh. delightful. What's yes. your favourite and why? Um, my favourite is the, the nutty slab that I've just been talking about with the cardamom and the wild orange because I've just got a thing for cardamom. I, is that, is that the one that looks like Rocky Road that you had at your that's workshop okay awesome when i was fasting and couldn't eat it on the night and then it got eaten by my family members <laughs> so I, i'm yet to taste it awesome mel and um um were you inspired by anything in particular with the you know the cooking and the baking or the raw treat like is there anything in particular that got you into that side of the oils um Given that I have Italian culture, I think food has always been something that's really important to us. I guess it's the centre of everything. Right. Um, so I've always been, um, I've always been inspired by cooking because of that. And yeah, as I previously mentioned, just the, the awareness or the learning that I could put oils in my cooking was just inspirational in itself mm. because I've always been foodie. Yeah. Did I answer your question? I think so. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Totally. And I know that the book that you've been using, what did you say? Are we talking over each other already? <laughs> Bloody ethnics. No, sorry. Um, it's a next level. You know, I've always loved cooking, being mm. inspired, next level to be able to use the oils. Um, I've been using a beautiful book titled Cacao. You'd know the authors. I don't yeah. know them personally. I know that they've just released it. I have a feeling they're living in Italy at the moment of all places. Don't quote me on that. We might have to do a fact check afterwards. Yeah. But yeah. they have an awesome book and there are some lovely doTERRA people um, over in Italy. They're not Italian. I think they're Australian. Or maybe they're Italian living in Italy. But I think they've just moved over recently or maybe last year. I don't so. know. I just, who had the book? Vanessa. Vanessa was yeah. showing, showing the book. And yeah. I'm like... I'm in. That. I didn't even yeah. realise that until like last week that that's where the recipes came from. You hit that well. Oh, well, I didn't mean to. I think I might have said it. We are just too busy setting up the room. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even. And then I stole your emotions book. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, it. the funniest thing is I actually packed that in my luggage and had you not messaged me, I would have been carrying extra luggage. And it's not light. But anyway, all right, so we'll, we'll pop a link um, for the book somewhere in this video. We'll let you guys know. Um, for friends of Melanie, get in touch with her if you like and she can hook you up with some oils or the book or whatever you need. Um, any parting thoughts? And I, I wanted to keep this really brief and um, on cooking. And, um, you're welcome to come back and chat about whatever you want next time. But any other kind of tips or... Oh, know, just get on. 
good. Get on if you've if you've not really considered embracing oils in your food, get on board. I think it's the best thing. It's one of the most it was a real draw card for me, I guess, in taking yeah. my next step oily journey. I just I love the fact that we can we can ingest doTERRA oil. Yeah, awesome. it's wonderful. Awesome. Yep. So and, and just for other folks watching, please do not go ingesting any essential oil brands. <laughs> I just have to make yeah. sure to say that um, doTERRA, <laughs> not all doTERRA oils can be ingested either. Always check the bottle for directions. Okay. <laughs> but um, <Tip> me. <laughs> what did you say? Good tip, Mia. <laughs> Sorry, God. No, it's all good. It's all good. Um, I want to know about, like, last question. Yes. <laughs> what did your mum think? Have, has mum tasted anything? Because I know mum's just joined doTERRA as well. She really, and yes, of course, I, I put the spread of trust out she came to stay. Yeah. She loved it, the one that I'd made with cinnamon. That was her, okay. that was her favorite. Yeah. She, yeah. My mum has German heritage, so food is not as big a deal right. for her. But she still does love um, a healthy lifestyle. She's always embraced, a, you know, a really nutritious, clean eating way of life. Mm. So really, if nothing else, she probably introduced me to that. So, of course, she was impressed by it, loved it. Awesome. Can you yeah. tell the difference now, like if you've obviously been someone that's made desserts before, when you've used like, you know, herbs and things like that and now as opposed to using oils, can you taste the difference? Oh, absolutely. It's just if, if being an essential oil, the flavour is so much mm. stronger. Richer. It's, I used to drink a lot of lemon juice or mm. use a lot of lemon juice in my cooking, but now mm. when I've replaced the oil, it just... Yeah, richer. That's a good word. Awesome. Cool. Flavors. Flavors. Yeah. I'm having some green mandarin in my water. Um, thanks, Mel. And we'll drop some links. So if you're watching this on Mel's profile, she'll have a little link there for you and vice versa. If you see it on my page, I'll have my little link there for you. And maybe we'll chat to you again on another cool topic. What should we talk about next? I'm sure. I'll come Romantic on. massage. <laughs> <laughs> Dan will love that. Dan would love it. Super. I'll give a demonstration. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, me. Thanks for having me. Bye. Good night. Have fun in Adelaide. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.